Hi everyone, my name is Christine Ann and this is my very first video I am making. I have watched YouTube a long time and I really enjoyed all of the content creators that I've been following and I finally decided that I would like to join the fun. So I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I am married uh, for Ooh, not good. Uh, 27 years. I should I should be pretty confident on that number. Pretty sure it's 27 years. Um, I'm 52. I uh, am a mom. I have a son who was 11, and I have uh, two dogs who are on the bed behind me. And uh, yeah, about two years ago. During the um, pandemic, I started painting and I have always been interested in art and always interested in creative things. Um, I, I've always said, you know, one day uh, when, you know, in my, if I changed my career, I would become an artist. So. Anyway, during the pandemic, when we were all stuck at home, I um, sort of took advantage of being home and having downtime and uh, started painting. And it was really a wonderful experience because it was for all of us an incredibly stressful time. So not only did I enjoy it, but it actually, it, it excuse me, it, it relaxed me. Um, and so I've been painting now about two years and I've also moved into doing some small um, sculptures, but I do it all out of the corner of my bedroom. Um, and I do it for enjoyment and fun. Uh, but that brings me to reason number one why I wanted to start a channel is I wanted to start documenting my uh, journey as an amateur artist as I try to um, get into hopefully galleries and exhibitions and take my art to the next level. I'm not there yet, but uh, I'm not in a rush because I do have a day job, which I'm very fortunate for. Um, and uh, the second thing is that one of the things that I have come to love is um, watching eyeshadow palette collection and declutter videos. I am completely obsessed and hooked on it. And I think I know why. I think it's because through art, my my biggest inspiration is color and I think that's what eyeshadow palettes are you open them and there's all these colors and color stories and they look sort of like modern and minimalistic which is the type of art that I like and I just can't get enough and then that you you take the eyeshadow and then you put it on your face and you're creative and then you can wash it off and do it again um it's it's just so much fun and i love listening to uh so many of you talking about why you like a certain palette and somebody else might hate that palette and uh, somebody loves luxury, somebody only prefers drugstore, and they're all, they're all valid, they're all fun, they're all awesome. I, I just love that content, and um, I watch those videos um, a lot, more than, more than once, many a time. Um, in fact, the eyeshadow palettes have um, been so inspiring to me for a potential... Um, avenue to explore in my art that one day I uh, it was a weekend and I was just completely uh, inspired and motivated so I ran to the corner of my bedroom and um, I had been working on some boards and and they were not going well so I just quickly um, 
took one of them and redid it and made it into this. So uh, obviously it's um, a little uh, eyeshadow palette. Now it's not good, okay? So um, no need to leave comments saying how beautiful because it's, it's really not, it's gross. But um, you know, I love what it represents. It represents um, the just the happiness and the fun of eyeshadow palettes and the color. And, um, you know, with eyeshadow palettes, depending on what the background is, it could make the eyeshadows look more or less appealing. I mean, both for the eyeshadow component, you know, makeup is just fun and relaxing and meditative and it makes us feel better. We're certainly in a time right now when taking time to, sorry. Okay, I'm back with the ugly um, eyeshadow palette. Um, this is not a color story for an eyeshadow palette that I would ever buy. Um, I don't like these colors at all, but you know, I was just so inspired by the idea. I had to get something out of me onto the board um, using paint and whatnot. And, and I'll just show you this one little thing. This is pyrite that uh, was sitting in front of me. So I put it into it and that's supposed to represent a press glitter, which I know a lot of you hate and um, I can see why. Um, so that's my, um, my little eyeshadow painting that I keep in front of me at my desk. Um, it just makes me smile. I like it. Um, I'll tell you a couple things um, about me. Um, other things about me. Um, I love collecting. I've always just had that collecting bug. I just love things. So one of the things I collect um, are uh, minerals. So this is an emerald from um, Colombia. And um, I love emeralds because my favorite color is green. I completely love anything green. So um, I've been collecting minerals for years. Uh, I've been to mineral shows. I just, uh, I've, I've gone with my family and we've, you know, gone searching for our own minerals. You know, this is a rock on my desk uh, from Colorado. I just, I love rocks, I love minerals. So um, this is another thing that actually will come into um, play with the eyeshadow palette. So for example, I just thought I'd give you an example. Um, here's the Just My Luck palette, which so many of you have. And of course, because it's green and it's one of the really uh, probably classic green palettes. And of course I had to have it because it was green and um, I just love the colors and whatnot. So green is a big theme in my eyeshadow palettes. Um, the second thing is um, I, besides minerals, I just love mountains and landscapes and natural beauty and uh, nature. And so, um, you know, that kind of relates to why this is a palette I was interested in. This is um, from Nomad and it's the, um, what's it say? Land of Fire and Ice, I think. I, I, don't, I don't have good eyesight, but I've been to Iceland um, a few years ago. We actually went over New Year's, which I didn't really think it through at the time. It was a surprise for my husband's 50th birthday and when you go to Iceland in the end of December there's only four hours of daylight so that made it a little tricky with uh, what to do but you know this palette not only do I just love the colors I, I like the kind of obviously there's green in it I like the the earthy tones um, but I just love that it also represents Iceland, which was just one of the most amazing places I've ever been. Um, and then I'll just show you one last thing. You know, one of the things that I love that I've always loved are books. Um, I love having books around me. Books make me, um, they're just, there's something soothing about them. You know, my mom worked in a library. Um, when I was a kid and I spent summers in the library 
uh, because there was no place for us to go. So, um, so this is an um, example of a pa another palette that I love. It just has that it factor that um, made me want to get it. So this is from Storybook Cosmetics and it's uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which um, this is my favorite book as a, as a kid. And um, I still have it on the shelf. I still read it. So the colors are totally fun. It has a golden ticket, um, but it's also a book. So I totally plan on using this, but even if I don't, you know, just that it looks like a book, um, again, it's just a happy memory. So um, that's just me in a nutshell um, to give you an idea of who I am, what I'm interested in. Um, I think the next video I'm going to make is definitely going to be um, showing my eyeshadow palette collection because it's gotten really big really fast. Um, and uh, um, But I think I'll be talking sometimes about uh, my minerals um, which I love. Again, they're colorful, they're shiny, they're sparkly. I love sparkly things. Um, I love jewelry. That's a whole other thing um, I'll probably talk about. And then one final thing is that also during the pandemic, um, uh, my husband and I just, it was actually kind of on a whim um, but it was one of the smartest things we've ever done is we bought property in Colorado. Um, neither one of us are from Colorado. We have no ties to Colorado. Um, I don't know anybody in Colorado, but that didn't keep us from buying uh, property in Durango, Colorado, where we plan on building a house one day. We're not in a rush. Um, my son is still in, you know, in grade school but um, I think that's something else that I would want to kind of document and of course the Colorado tie while we have no connection to Colorado Colorado has mountains Colorado has some of the best minerals um, that I I love to collect minerals from the southwest so that should be a lot of fun and actually this rock is um, from our property in Colorado um, so that sits in front of me as well. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Um, I hope to see you back here and uh, I hope to um, connect with many of you and um, grow my channel. So thank you, have a, have a wonderful day wherever you are and um, I'll see you in the next video.